What's up, y'all? What's up, Deepas and Deepos? It's your girl, April. So, yes, first of all, I know you're like, girl, why is you screaming into the camera? But I'm about to tell y'all something real quick, okay? First of all, by the time this video goes up, it's definitely going to be past the time frame, but it is what it is. So, listen, I'm excited. I have been counting down the months, not just the days, but the months when Bath & Body Works have their semi-annual sale. So, with that being said, I'm about to do this video real quick. I mean, not real quick, because it's going to be quality, of course. So, I was contacted by this company called, this one is called Fashion Leader Hair, and they actually sent me a Brazilian version body wave. And the lengths that I requested, which is 20, 20, 18, and 18 inch closure. But I know, like, a lot of times I come on here and the hair is already styled or what have you. So, what that being said, I decided to leave half of the hair out for this video because I really did want to show you guys how I, myself, will slay a closure wig from beginning to end. So I decided to style one half of the unit, and I'm just going to show you what I use to actually style my wigs, like when I style them and curl them. I did take one side, and I did curl it. So the first thing's first, the lace is still on it. I wash my wigs on these. I definitely style my wigs on these. I sit my wigs on top of these and I put them on a tripod and I style them. It makes curling your wigs a million times faster than while you're wearing it. So this time around, um, I always use this one. This is my favorite magic wand system. I'm not really sure why I'm calling it magic wand, but this is the Irresistible Me Sapphire 8-in-1. Um, interchangeable wand system. Um, this one I used was this one here. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's a lot slenderer at the top right here. It's more slender and then it gets wider as it, you know, prolongs. And I always put it up to the highest heat, which is 450 degrees. The first thing we're going to do is cut the lace off of the unit. Okay, so the scissors that I'm going to be using is actually this one right here. And these actually come in kits at the, like the drugstore pharmacy. You could buy these anywhere, even at the Dollar Tree. And they're small and they have like these little curves. And these are like, just come with medical kits. Okay. So I, I love these because they're smaller. They're better than cutting with a bigger scissor. This I did get from Walmart, like probably like eight years ago. I have two of them. I don't know what the other one is at. Oh, the other one broke. But these are like eight bucks. These are really good. They're titanium and these are just as good because they're curved, but you're going to spend a little bit more money. So if you can find the like medical kits, um, you'll see these and it has like other little things in with it, then definitely get one of those scissors, but they're both curved. Okay. Just make sure you're as close as possible and you want to make sure that the curved portion is going inward towards the lace and you just want to go ahead and cut it. I, I cut all my wigs with the small scissors because it just gets like perfect. You're not accidentally cutting anything. There you go. It's just that simple. Now that the closure closure has been cut, inside it is just a regular spandex um, spandex mesh dome cap by the brand Q-Fit. I think it's either Q-Fit or Two-Fit. I don't really know. It, it looks kind of weird, but I think it's Q-Fit. Um, I like them because they're a really great fit. So I did decide to do a middle part this time only because um, I'm really sometimes undecided if I want it to be to the left or to the right. So uh, the middle part is the best because you can always move the wig over if you want to. I'm going to take my concealer and it's always best to use a small brush and just dab a little bit of the concealer on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna take it from the outside and just lightly blend it in. And I'm gonna use back and forth strokes because I really don't want it sitting right on my wig. And you wanna brush it in. You don't and I'm just gonna keep it out of my face. And before I, um, curl any hair. I always have a styling mousse. We're going to use the Cream of Nature Style and Sheen or Style and Shine Foamy Mousse. This helps with flyaways and also keeps your curls. So you want to go ahead and get a good styling mousse. You want to get a good brush. Um, this is by Eco Tools. And you want to just make sure that it's brushed throughly through the hair, which I'm doing right now. This will help with keeping the curls, also keeping the flyaways down, and styling. You don't want to put too much in the barrel because then it'll take longer to curl. And 
I'm going to go ahead and get me a clip. You can get these at the Dollar Tree or Sally's or whatever's closer to you. If you don't have any, I'm just going to do that to clip it out the way. I'm going to pour it downwards and I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to, as I am putting it on, I'm going to twist it. Do you see my arms twisting around? So I'm kind of like twisting the hair as I'm wrapping it around the barrel. Okay, so watch. And only I count to like 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is the curl that I get. Downward, twist it as you're twirling and just hold the end. And just take it off. Now this portion is a little bit more hair but you can still do this. Um, I'll show you guys. See, the curl is a little bit different, but that's okay. It still curls. Um, you can also keep it in longer. Hey. Brain drop, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Cook it. Blow your shit, die, die, die. Cooking up in the crock pot. Die. We came from nothing to something. Hey. I don't try nobody grip the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get you. Grab me your river, give you a t-shirt. Uh, it's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. Yo. My niggas is savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. It's bad and bullshit, 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 bullshit. So now I'm gonna just finger comb it. Um, for certain curls, I don't. I just finger comb because I really don't want to brush the curls out of them like that. So I just finger comb it like this, honey. I, I think I might want it to the middle. I'm not really sure. And I like to have anchor braids because if you have an anchor braid. You don't have to really worry about your wig slipping back, especially having combs in them. Let's fix this curl right here. Cause it's a little loose. So, next thing I have decided to use is one of these rat tail combs. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hunter rounds too. It's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Now. For those who have thin hair, you don't really have to have thin hair to use this, but this is the Topic Hair Building Fibers. It's amazing. So if you do have thin hair like me, or you just want the wig to blend in seamlessly, then definitely use this. You can get this from Sally's, or you can go to Target.com. Keep in mind that the nozzle does not come with it. I'm just gonna pump lightly. I like to pump lightly, you know. And because I made it so wide, I'm gonna just go ahead and Put some of that right where my closure is at as well, just in case, okay? I'm gonna get a toothbrush. I'm gonna brush down what I'm going to use. And the gel I'm gonna be using is the Gorilla Snot Gel. I like this one. Um, it's a little bit thicker, but it doesn't get cakey or flaky. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. So, and kind of like brush it into my hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and respray it. As you can see right there, it's lighter. So I'm going to pump light again. You don't want to be heavy handed with this. So I'm going to go ahead and take my got to be hairspray. Not excuse me, got to be. My <laughs> Aussie Instant Freeze right there in the front. I'm going to set it if you want. Take my toothbrush and brush my hair back into the wig. 
like so. I'm gonna take um, my concealer and dab into my finger comb it out. Now it's time to get your earrings ready. You know, I don't really like too much lip color, so. Now you wanna make sure that your curls last all day, which they definitely will if you use a wand curler, but just to make it even fuller and cuter, make sure that you get you some Aussie Instant Freeze, which is this one, the number four in the aerosol can, not the pump. This is basically it, but I did use three bundles. This is three full bundles. This probably was like uh, Inch left. I had two 20s and an 18 inch um, 18 inches of bundles and the closure I think was 16 inches or 18 inches I really can't remember but the closure, but I'll post it for you guys below um also, I just co-washed it, you know what I'm saying, after I made it. I always make them first, and then I co-wash them, and that's basically about it. I really can't tell you the longevity of the hair because I just placed it on. For the most part, it's affordable hair. I be telling you guys um, all the time, it's just hair. I don't really think that you should spend, like, a fortune on it, and I'm all about budget-friendly everything. So, yes, they do have good quality hair. If I was to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it, like, a 7 and a half, 8. Meaning it's not gonna last you to eternity if that's what you guys are thinking But you'll get yourself a nice style out of it And if, especially if you know how to take care of it whether you have it sewn in or made as a wig You long as you take care of it properly it'll last you definitely like longer like longer 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 So I definitely would suggest just venturing out to cheaper sources and reading reviews looking at comments Whatever it's just hair. Okay, so for me um, This is just like a any hair that I have used or worn or made in the past. I mean, I have gotten some that is like, oh girl, yes. And I have gotten some like, oh my God, no. But this is very exceptional. It's affordable and it's trustworthy. So I'm happy about that. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video from start to finish of how I did or semi start to finish. I do apologize if the video is a little bit longer than most, but I just really am trying to do something different and I wanted to show you guys what I, as a person, like to do and how I get ready or get my wigs to slay and make them look as natural as possible. So, yes. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will post Fashion Leader Hair's information for you guys yeah. below. Definitely check out... Um, Irresistible me for the wanding system. I'll post a direct link to it for you guys below and as well as that Let me know what you think as always stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate comment subscribe I love you guys, and I'll see you in a soon-to-come video